Vlogmas 2021 On I'm Swaggy, it's just one of many Sit down and enjoy the video because it's free and I really don't know what I'm doing I'm just making an introduction for Vlogmas Again. I see everybody else doing it so um Yeah, thanks for watching Or whatever Today I'll be showing you guys how to One Put an E53 X5 in right mode and that will enable you guys to DIY lower your rear air suspension or like full air suspension like the factory one so um yeah let's start with a cold start first because I have to go get gas as per usual life of an X5 owner what you do is get gas most of the time And the battery is dead. It's another thing. There's a lot of interior lights in these cars, so you can't leave the doors open for more than a couple minutes. So, um, yeah, let me uh jump start it. This is how you jump start one. So ground power. Since the battery is in the back. So yeah. No gas, bro. That's where we're going. Calm down. But yeah, y'all. I'm really loving the feel of SUVs more than anything else. Well, sporty SUVs like this, but, you know, I don't care for anything else anymore. I'm getting old. So to put an X5 in right mode, you need one of these KDAN, KD CAN USB interfaces, and it says input compatible. It has to be input compatible or it won't work. And then, secondly, you remove these screws. Uh, give me a second. When you remove the screws, you pop this thingy off. And you see these two pins here at the top? Seven and eight. Hold on, let me use the zoom thingy. You could see how right there, I didn't solder them yet, but... I could just use like a wire, like the copper wire from inside of like a regular wire and wrapped it around pin seven and eight. And once you do that, it's better to solder it, of course, but um, once you do that, you're able to um, put it in right mode. So you can do things like coding and lowering and raising the suspension and all types of stuff. So um. Yeah, once I get back from the gas station, I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, so once you plug the uh, 
cable in, you open ISTA Plus. You can do INPA, but this video is about um, ISTA. So you put in the um, VIN number. And then you just give it a second to populate all the information. If you don't put pin seven and eight together, this will not work. So, yeah. Um, is it control unit tree? Okay, no, no, no. Well, this is how you'll know if it works. So these things will be all gray if you didn't um, put these two things together. So control unit, um, is it in vehicle management? I forget, it's been a couple, it's been a little while since I did this, but um, oh yeah, start vehicle test. And then once you start vehicle test, then you'll be able to get into the um, the place where you can start coding. Okay, so once you um, do the uh, vehicle test, then you can go into um, vehicle management click chassis and suspension and these things should be black if they're in gray it did not work and you have to redo it so sometimes you have to do it a couple times and then it'll work it takes a little while these are old cars so um yeah so to adjust the vehicle height what you want to do is first make sure you have a tape measure you'll need a measure centimeter so first ride height adjustment then I'll show you the procedure. Click OK. So you click E53. Um, these are 20s. And then the target ride height is 734 millimeters, which is 73 centimeters. And that, I'll show you exactly where that measurement is being taken from. But, um, yeah, so this is where you would want to um, adjust the height. So let me show you guys really quickly. So, if you want to lower it 10 millimeters, you'll do this. So, boom. Mine... It's from the end of the wheel to the thing. So you see that's, hopefully you can't see it, but that's 72 centimeters, which is 720 millimeters. And that's both sides. So you just make sure you measure it again from the bottom lip of the wheel through the center cap to the fender arch. And then let's say you want to lower that 20 10 millimeters or actually let's just say 20 millimeters so you will add 20 millimeters to 734 so um if it's 734 that means you'll put 754 and it will say okay so it's at 754 that means i need to lower it to 734 which is 20 millimeters Ooh, and now it's doing it and we will go outside the vehicle and check and there you see it's at 70 centimeters let me get it centered but boom you guys can see that's a 20 millimeter drop 70 centimeters here and it's at 70 millimeters here I mean 70 centimeters here so boom I lowered it another 20 centimeters in the back I don't want the back to be too dumped um, because I just don't but yeah it's really not that hard to do, and if you want to lower it more, you could just keep going incrementally by 10 centimeters. So right now, it will be at 70. So if you want to lower it 
10 millimeters more, you'll say that it is at um, 764 millimeters because before it was at 734 and you wanted more than 20 more so you added 20 which would be 754 so you just keep doing that and you adjust it more and more until you get the height where you want it to be and then you're done it's a pretty simple process it's super easy it rides pretty much the same as it does before so yeah that's all you need to do and the only thing you need besides the impa cable is a tape measure so thanks for watching like comment and subscribe it um hopefully this works for you guys sometimes you have to try it a couple times for it to connect and do everything but yeah peace